Let's stay with court matters, take you to Polokwane now. That's where the police officer who's been arrested in connection uh, with the insurance murders, at least the allegation is that she orchestrated the killing of several people in order to cash in on those insurance payouts. She is now making an appearance in court. Her name is Sergeant Rachel Kutumela. She, of course, was arrested last week and is expected to apply for bail. Let's listen in. In laundering in contravention of the provision of section 4, read with section 1 and 8 of the Prevention of Organized Crime Act 121 of 1998. <laughs> And the count number 22 is the same as count number 20, which relates to the acquisition or use or possession of property, which, are, which is the proceeds of unlawful activity. And the count number 23, also similar to count number 20, is that of acquisition. Uh, um, count number 23. Uh, is that of contravening the provision of section 4, uh, read with section 1 and 8 of the Prevention of Organized Crime Act 121 of 1998, that is of and account number 24 is that of contravening the provision of section 6, right with section 1 and 8 of the Prevention of Organized Crime Act 121 of 1998, that is acquisition, use or possession of property, which are the proceeds of unlawful activity. And account number 25 is that of money laundering, uh, same as the others that I have already informed you, sir. The court was trying to be particular with the charges that you are facing so that you know exactly which charges are preferred against you, that is accused number two and three. And the application that has been brought forth by the public prosecutor in this matter is therefore accordingly granted. From now henceforth, you will remain as such for which accused number one to all the charges starting from count one to count 25 is the one that is standing there beside you. Yes, Aku, uh, state, uh, what is their position with regard to their rights to legal representation? As the court Mrs. Worship, the a council advocate Patudi and Mr. Manchata informed me earlier on that they will be standing in and representing accused number two and three as well. May the court just confirm. I advocate
May I confirm with the defense counsel referred to if indeed you are representing the accused in this? Yes, the court pleases, Your Worship. Uh, I place my name on record. I'm advocate and duty. We act on behalf of the first, second, and third accused in this matter. You are appearing on behalf of the said accused on instructions from? On the instructions from Mantata attorneys. Thank you. As the court pleases. Mm -hmm. Is there any other defense counsel that also wanted to address the court in this matter? Or Advocate Patuli stand for you all? As Mr. Court, Your Worship, uh, I instructed him to represent Manchester attorneys in respect of one, two, and three accused of worship. Thank you. Yes, it is well noted. Uh, Yes, uh, yes okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Now, counsel informed me that since we joined accused number two and three in the proceedings, they will not be able to proceed with bail application today. And as such, we have identified three dates if the court is available to hear this bail application. That is the 30th of October, the 31st of October, and the 1st of November, if the court is available. <laughs> Perhaps, Your Worship, I could just add that the position of the state remains the same with regards to accused number two and three that were opposed to the abuse number Defense, I've been given dates on which it is alleged that the bail application may proceed in this matter. Are those dates suitable to yourself? Court places, Your Worship, we confirm the arrangement with the state in respect of the dates that has been alluded before you, sir. Thank you. Number two and three.
I'm, in, I'm informed by the public prosecutor that their stand with regard to the uh, uh, fact that accused should not be granted bail, instead they should be in custody, still apply to yourself as it already applies to accused number one. And uh, you, all of you, are represented by one uh, firm of acting. We have agreed that this matter should be postponed to a further date, which will not only be one date, but more than a day. It will be the 30 and 31st of October 2024, and as well the 1st of November 2024. Those are the dates on which this bail application will be heard. <laughs> and all the accused persons will be in custody. Thank you, State. And the court, please. Sir, the court, please. We then request a short adjournment so we can proceed with other matters. Sir, the court. All right, so those are live visuals coming to you from inside the Bulukwana Regional Court. That's where the case involving the person who we've loosely referred to as the Limpopo insurance killer has just wrapped up, at least for now. She, of course, has been joined in the dock by her 27-year-old daughter and her 47-year-old sister. It seems in some ways the controversy has morphed into some kind of family affair. They're all facing very similar charges. In fact, we've been told they'll be represented by the same legal attorney or the same legal team and as expected the matter has been postponed at least it seems is about to be postponed to a, a, a later date in order to ensure that there's some kind of bail application for all three of the suspects and not just the first accused whose name we know of course is Rachel Kutumela. Um, those dates are the 30, uh, 30th, 31st of October as well as the 1st of September so not next Wednesday but the week after that right until the Friday. It's not often by the way you get three days being set aside for a bail application and uh, perhaps that suggests to us that it might be quite protracted in a context where the state has already announced there in court that they are posing pale for all three of the people who appeared in court today. At the heart of this, of course, the allegation is that those three individuals orchestrated the killing of several people in order to cash in on insurance payouts. Details around the nature of the collaboration, though, were still unclear, but at the very least, we know now that they are related, uh, at least insofar as uh, bloodlines are concerned. As I mentioned, 27-year-old daughter to Rachel Kutumela and her 47-year-old sister apparently having had conspired to carry out those crimes which date back to 2019.